Hi artists, today I want to talk to you about TuneUp 2.0 for Photoshop CS3 and above. TuneUp 2.0 is the next step in the TuneUp line. The original TuneUp was an action for Photoshop, and uh, actually several actions, and it changed the way we do cartooning in Photoshop. In fact, a lot of you weren't doing cartooning at all in Photoshop. And uh, TuneUp just made it way easier to get in there and get out quickly and have a good, nice cartoon image of your customer's car, maybe, or whatever else. TuneUp 2.0 is not an action, it's a script, literally a script GUI, uh, UI. And what that means is user interface. And I'll show you what that means. Um, it means a lot more control, whereas before you had one push button, you know, to hit the TuneUp, and make it go and now you actually have a lot of control over what you can do with TuneUp. And just as a default, I'm gonna go ahead and hit TuneUp so we can watch the magic happen. And TuneUp is going through and uh, creating several layers and making everything happen and there you go. TuneUp has finished its tune and I'm gonna go ahead and pan around the tab so I can, can see. And you can see that TuneUp did a very basic uh, cartoon of this Z28. Very usable. Um, you can back up so you can see. Uh, you can easily put that on a shirt and put it in a couple colors. You can get that red, turn it into a blue or a cyan or something like that. And uh, your customer would be thrilled to have it. And it didn't take you all day quick tracing and cutting color and everything else trying to make it happen. I'm going to show you some other options. With tune up, I'm going to go ahead and kill this and restart tune up. Um, one of the neat features about this, I can take the line art out, take the comic book out, and just make a very simple cartoon with no um, line art or anything like that. Just a really basic cartoon. But zoom in real quick. Anyway, real useful for certain things. And I just only am showing you this to uh, make the point that TuneUp does a lot more now than um, just the black lined traditional uh, tune. And the same is true with the um, comic book. Let me go ahead and show you that. And here's another thing about comic book is that uh, now the dots are adjustable. It's not just two two things that you can do with it. You can actually make the dots um, very much bigger and uh, and a lot smaller. And a lot smaller isn't really useful in a lot of things, but some people have asked for it, and so that's the reason why I made it. But having said that, you can make the dots a lot bigger as well. And I'll go ahead and show you that. As you can see, I don't know how useful those dots are, but maybe in a abstract kind of way. Um, they're, they're useful. I'm going to go ahead and kill everything but the line art. And there'll still be coloring here, but uh, the line art is the thing that we're going to focus on right now. We've got three controls in line art. Black amount, line thickness, and black saturation. Black amount is um, literally how much black you're putting back into the image. I'll go ahead and hit it at zero just to show you. Anyway, you can see that there's not very much black in this, other than the black, that you, the noticeable black. There's not a whole lot of line art um, type stuff in there. I'll go ahead and crank that up so you can see. And hitting it again. One of the other neat things about this tune-up is that it tells you what it's doing at the time. Anyway, you can see that now there's a whole lot more line art in the uh, image itself. I'm going to go ahead and back this up a little bit so we have a reasonable amount black line art. See how it says tune up 2.0, please wait. Okay, anyway, now we have a reasonable amount of black line. Line thickness. This is literally the thickness of the line itself. Um, this, what this does in reality is it adds pixels to the places that it finds contrast. So you can see it starts to fatten up the lines a little bit and crank this up. And you'll have lines that are um, probably too much for this image, but where you, you have a bigger image, 
um, you've done, you're going to want that line thickness to grow uh, more and more and more. I'm going to back that up, get it back to normal. Black saturation is literally, it goes and finds all the black and then puts it back into the image. I'm going to go ahead and hit it without it. You might not be able to tell much with this because there's got a lot of black in it. Yeah, it's not much, uh, not much there, but what it will do, it goes through the tune-up process, finds all the black, and pulls it out. And at the end of the run, it puts it back in, however much you tell it to go find and put back in. You know, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. This image probably isn't a good one to show it, but, uh, you kind of get the idea. It fattens in all the black. This is very useful for a lot of screen printers, and maybe they don't want holes and stuff like that to close in. They just want the black. <laughs> so that's uh, helpful for that. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next thing. Simplify it takes the color itself and simplifies that. So if I go back and I take the color depth and move it way back, it's going to give us very few colors. And it goes through the process. As you can see, there's just not very much color here. Excuse me. Crank it up a little bit like this, and you're going to see a lot more color. And there you go. Um, simplify edges. If I run it way, way back like this, the edges are going to get a little more detailed, which is handy for some things. In some cases, you're going to want the color edges to be real, you know, not so detailed. See, you can see kind of a lot of edgy uh, imagery in here, which is cool, but sometimes that's not what you're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and crank this up just to show you how simplified you can make it. Um, actually, very choppy, um, which is handy for a lot of things, too. I've used this um, tool a lot for um, some images. And you can see that you've lost some of the detail, but between the um, line art itself and their lines that it creates, it keeps the image solid. But you can see that it just makes a real... Um, almost abstract version of the image. I'm going to go ahead and back those back up a little bit and get out of this. And one of the other things I want to show you is the comic book. And the comic book feature is something that was on the original tune-up, but you only had two choices, large and small. Um, now large and small has been filled in. You have past small and past large. You have a lot more choices. You get an idea of what that does with comic book. Sharpen primary and secondary colors. What this does, it literally takes all the color in the image and knocks it down to exact six colors plus black. I'm going to go ahead and run it real quick so you can see um, what it does. And it just sharpens it up real tight. This is great if you cut color in uh, seven color images. Not necessarily all seven colors, but uh, some guys use separators that uh, separate and cyan, blue, magenta, red, black, yellow, green. Um, and this is what this does. I personally don't use it, but uh, a lot of people ask for it, so I went ahead and put it in there. So anyway, that's TuneUp 2.0. On the way out, I'm going to show you another car. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Filter TuneUp 2.0, the regular old default settings. And that's TuneUp 2.0. Um, if you have any questions, please look me up at uh, stevegasegraphics.com and that's where it's available at. Okie doke. Thanks a lot. I sure appreciate your time. Thanks.